I have a chalky milk, 30 degrees cold, cold start. It wasn't even bad. 75 years later. Yeah, do you have Cookie Monster socks? Yeah, she marks her territory. OBSs get a little territorial sometimes, okay? But howdy, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We're, we're back, okay? Yes, fenders are still, yeah. But believe it or not, I actually have a purpose for today's video. And no, it does not have anything to do with the fenders. Should I be worried about that? Is that coming from brakes? No, I don't think so. What the heck? What the heck is going on here? Definitely don't think that that's supposed to be like that. Definitely don't. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say about that. Slap this back on. <laughs> apparently, apparently it's not going back on. Oh yeah, I'm dumb. You gotta put it in here first, and then put it on. I forgot. There we go. Bingo, bango. Yeah, my, my only other guess as of all this splatter, you know, is it's coming from the breather. That's literally my only other guess. And I hope that's not the case, you know, for obvious reasons. But I, I, I actually have a purpose for today's video. And that purpose is... Sometimes when my truck is warm, it used to do it when it's cold. Now it's starting to do it when it's warm. Like, not like warm outside, but like operating temp warm. It misfires at idle pretty bad. And it has new ignition cool, new spark plugs, new distributor cap, new rotor, new spark plug wires. New ignition cool. Already forgot if I said that or not. So, I mean, I... Your guess is literally as good as mine. I have zero idea. But I kind of want to figure out what this oil splatter is. Because I, I just, I, I don't, I don't like that. It's definitely gotten worse since I looked at it last. Uh, I mean, the breather definitely, definitely looks like it has a decent amount of oil in it, and it's not even old. Yeah, it's just, like, soaked in oil, pretty much. The breather is literally just soaked in oil. Um, I guess let's check the oil, see what she's talking about. Ooh, yeah. Definitely, definitely a little low. Well, I guess where we can start is firing it up without the breather tube on there and take a gander and just see what happens, you know? Don't really know what else to say besides that. And we're going to get to it. Huh. <laughs> There's nothing going on. 
Yeah, there's nothing going on. No airflow, no pressure, no anything. So, I don't know. That's definitely, definitely weird. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> There's a lot of oil in this. A lot. There's so much oil in this, it's like bubbling when I'm blowing air in it. I guess first thing I'm going to do is put a little oil in it. Because it obviously needs that, so go ahead and shut her down. Shut her on down. See, it's it's not even misfiring right now. I, I don't I don't understand. How much is in this? A little bit less than a quart, putting the whole thing in it. And see now the thing is, is where is it going? Because I just changed the oil really recently. Oh, I, I know where it's going. Shooting everywhere is where it's going. Come on now, funnels are for amateurs. Ah, I'm an amateur, I'm an amateur, I'm an amateur, I'm an amateur. It's, it's fine. Well, I guess I need to go get a new breather. And I, the breather that I had on before this was a, I mean, this literally doesn't matter at all, but it was a blue one and it was on there for like a year and it never had that much oil in it. So, <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. If you know anything that could be going on or whatever, please let me know in the comments because <laughs> I literally have no idea. It has to be something to do with the breather because it's just soaked in oil. So, but that's enough of that, I guess. I guess I'll go get a new breather and just see if that does anything. I pff, no idea. Well, I just did a tiny amount of Googling and basically either it was over full of oil, which I literally checked and it was low on oil. So that's not it. Or she's getting old and tired, which definitely seems like the more applicable answer. Which, I mean, I really don't think is the case either, though, to be honest, because it's got 123,000 miles on it, you know? So, I could be wrong. Could literally blow up tomorrow. Um, maybe I'm just dogging on her too much. Maybe she's just seeing too much high RPM because that kind of has changed recently. Not going to lie. I've definitely been giving her a little bit more beans recently. So... I don't know. I guess we're just going to run this new breather for a little bit and just keep 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 our peepers on it, you know, just monitor the situation yawn. But back to the point of the video is I'm just going to be looking or mainly I'm going to check I'm going to check the spark plugs that are the easiest to check. Right now I'm wiping all this oil off that spilled everywhere. I'm going to check the spark plugs that are easy to check. And if all of those look good, then I'm probably not going to check the ones that are harder to take out and put back in. So, yeah, I guess we're just going to move on to that. Or first, I'm going to look at distributor cap. And I'm, I'm just basically, basically everything that has to do with electricity. And yeah, we're, we're just taking a gander at all of that type of type of situation you know gotta bring my tripod something that i just so happen to notice and i have no idea if y'all are even going to be able to see it or not but one of my oil cooler lines has a little bit of moisture on it i think i'm going to try the oil take it off cut it cut you know maybe like an inch or so off slip her back on yeah you know, i mean why am i even doing that no idea but that definitely has not been like that long. So I'd rather do that now and just kind of fix it before it becomes a serious problem than 
it just explode one day and yeah, no bueno. And there's no way y'all are gonna be able to watch me do this, so you can just watch me struggle. No way, dude. All right, so now I just need a long enough screwdriver to where it's gonna fit through my grill because the stubby is not stubby enough. Well, that is just mighty unfortunate. Oh, the old sneak attack. Come on now, baby. Something happened. I don't know what, but something did. You little. I. It, yeah. Well, I guess it's not coming off. I guess I am going to end up doing exactly what I said I wasn't going to do and just leave it alone. I'm going to put the hose clamp in a different spot, though, so it has some new, you know what I'm saying? Some new, new something to grab onto. Yeah. Yeah. That's about as tight as that's gonna get. I think we just call that a day there. And finally get to the point of the video. Ooh, get up on it, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, baby. Oh. If you don't sit in your engine bay, I don't know what to tell you. What's up, bull? Uh, take a gander around, see if oil could be coming from anywhere else. No, it literally has to be, it ha, it has to be the breather. It, there's literally, there's literally nothing else that it could be. Oh, I need a screwdriver for the distributor to count. Oh my God, I, I'm an idiot. I'm literally so dumb. Oh, well, I'll be back. Oh, oh, back in we go, baby. Yes. Oh. So if you don't know, your distributor cap just has little two little screws on it. And that one's all the way out. I was just continuing to go for no reason. Should I unplug the battery? I have no idea. Am I going to? No. <laughs> Off comes distributor cap. <sighs> You're joking, right? I mean... Distributor cap honestly looks a little bit no bueno. Not gonna lie. And... The rotor honestly looks no bueno also, not gonna lie. The little contact point on here is basically completely melted. I'll just, I'll come down there and show you. Yeah, that is what the rotor's looking like. I mean, there's still, there's still a little bit of the contact on there. But I mean, that's a lot of, for like, 10,000 miles, probably less than 10,000 miles. That's a lot of, a lot of gabagoo in there. You know what I'm saying? And as for the distributor cap, that is the distributor cap. The contacts aren't bad. I mean, I know you're not really going to be able to see, but there's definitely some gabagoo on them. I'm going to see if I can just kind of wipe these off with my finger. See if that does anything. I'm probably gonna go get a new rotor, to be honest. I mean, I might as well get a new distributor cap too, bro. I mean, it's probably gonna be like, what, $10? Well, they got a good wipe down. See if I can clean out the rotor a little bit. Sure. Yes, I mean, I mean, come on now. Get out of the way. 
<sighs> Come on. There we go. Oh, yes. Now, I'm normally a really big O'Reilly supporter, but I got this rotor and distributor cap from O'Reilly. I might try AutoZone and just, you know, see what we're working with. And as far as putting the rotor and distributor cap on, the rotor can literally only go on one way. So, I mean, you can't mess that up. And distributor cap, you'll know when it's in place. As I say in regards to everything pretty much that I do on my truck, do not over tighten. All that's gonna happen is you're going to be hating life later. And that's a promise. So that's done. Slap air cleaner back on. And I guess take a trip down to AutoZone and just take a gander and yeah, see what's going on. Alrighty, pop that bad boy off. Oh, I need an extension. Of course I do. Why would I not? I picked the, all right, we're, we're not doing that one. Just kidding. Psych. Come on now. <sighs> Y'all just tried to run away on me. The sun comes out tomorrow. Oh, heck yeah. Yes, sir, baby. It looks worse on camera, I promise, but spark plugs are good. We're just sending her back in, baby. And don't over tighten your don't over tighten your spark plugs either. There it went. Now I guess let's start it up and see if it explodes or not. I don't know what else to do. I mean. running perfect right now so well I guess I'm just gonna go get a breather and call it a day because what's the point of getting parts that you don't need you know I I, I have no idea my she look good I mean it's literally running perfect right now <laughs> I don't know what to say I don't know what to say. Oh, uh, I guess we're just gonna go to Auto Schlong and get a breather. And I, <laughs> yeah. The reason I set y'all up is just so I can talk. Know, while I'm going to AutoZone. Not even gonna lie, part of the reason that I did not upload last Monday was obviously Thanksgiving, spending time with family, you know, but also a big part of it, I would say probably 50-50 is I just 
I wasn't feeling it, you know? And I feel like I kind of got to a point where I was just holding myself to too high of a standard, you know? Thinking every video had to be better than the last, had to top the last, had to, you know, beating myself up, beating myself up if I didn't have, like, just the most genius, badass video idea ever. And so, just kind of having a little, having some family time, having a little, a reset, just having a little reset to just really think about things, you know, and I, I feel like, I feel like it did good. I actually was looking forward to filming today, which I, 100% honest, have not felt that way in a while, so... I apologize for not uploading last Monday, but I feel like I really needed to do it, and I feel like I genuinely benefited from doing it, so yeah, I, I really hope y'all understand, um, really appreciate y'all, love y'all so much, as I always say, so I don't know, I just kind of kind of wanted to talk about that for a minute, so hopefully y'all understand, and I'll be back after I go to AutoZone and get materials. We got the goods, baby. This time we went with Chrome. Let's see if there's any new oil splatter. I have no idea. Not gonna lie, no idea. Dude, I dude, I don't get it. My truck was literally idling perfectly fine, and then I go over there to video and show y'all that it's idling perfectly fine, and then it misfires twice. So, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, okay? I literally don't know what to tell you. And I honestly don't know that I even care. It's a 30-year-old truck, man. Give it a break. She's trying her best. I definitely need some type of sharp object to open this. Do I even know if this is gonna fit? 100% honest, no I do not. But all I can tell you is that we are about to find out. I tried to look for new grommets, and apparently AutoZone just doesn't sell them. They only sell ones that I am basically positive are gonna be too big. I think they were inch and a quarter, and I'm pretty sure like the PCV valve grommet and the little breather grommet, I'm pretty sure is like an inch, not an inch and a quarter. So I just didn't even get them. I just didn't even get them. Get y'all an unboxing. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to clean this thing. Cause my hands are dirty and it's shinier than, I don't even know an example. <coughs> God, I go to the gym for no reason? Oh my gosh. What is this made out of, dude? Holy cow! Come on! Oh. Oh. We're making progress now. Can it... Oh. Oh, okay. Look at all those fingerprints I already got on it, dude. That just slipping. Dude, see, look. Look at the oil that is already on that. You can look at the bottom of it is like wet. That, no bueno. Oh, it fits. Yes, sir. Yeah, well, 
there is definitely something going on that I should probably figure out, but I'll do it later, you know? <laughs> I'll do it later. Actually, let me take that back off. Oh, that's hot. Oh, yeah. This has all the airflow. All the airflow. Ugh, there it goes. Man, that looks fancy schmancy. Yeah, this one... I mean, you can hear she is not having it. So, oh, my PCV valve is not clogged. So, you can hear her rattling around in there. Not clogged. So, I feel like that's probably going to be a lot of people's first, first question. So... And literally nothing has changed. Like, I, I I have not changed anything that would, like, just randomly cause this to be a problem, you know? So, <laughs> I have no idea. All I do know is that that is the end of the video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Absolutely love y'all so much, like I always say, every single video. Again, I apologize for not uploading yesterday, just... Needed a little family time reset, you know. Hopefully, I'll see you on the next new video next Monday, 6 p.m. Central Time. As always, this is Word, and I'm gone, ladies and gentlemen. Peace.